In this video, we're going to show how to set um, materials on various family objects, how to create uh, custom materials, and how to uh, make materials parametric within a family. Um, we start with a piece of furniture here, and if we go and look at the element properties, we'll notice that, that we have no control over the materials of the, the family from a project standpoint. So what we need to do first is go into the family and modify it uh, to make the materials available for editing. So we'll go here and select it and go edit family. Say yes. And now that we're actually in the family, uh, we can go in here and we can start messing with the, the materials. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll go in and actually create uh, some custom materials here. So let's go over to the Manage tab to Materials, and let's add a material. Let's call this one VA Granite. We'll turn on Use Render Appearance for Shading. On Render Appearance, we'll replace go to stone and we'll use granite uh, as our basis for our new material. I'm going to come down here under image file and this is where we're going to actually um, specify a custom image file. We're going to hit the browse icon here and go out to um, where we've got that saved. For our bump pattern, we'll also create that to be custom. Use the same image file. Select the option to invert. Let's create one more and call this uh, MA Granite. We'll do the same process and use the other material that we have here and again use it as the bump pattern as well and this should apply there let's create one more uh, material and call this one uh, maybe call this one desk would work Here we'll say wood and scroll down here and select a, a nice wood finish here. Next thing we'll do is go and create parameters to allow us to control our materials from the project, not just from within the family. So we'll go to the types dialog box here, add a new parameter. Let's call this one uh, woodwork material. For the type, we're going to make this material. We're going to leave it as a type parameter and we're going to group it under material and finishes. And we'll do the same for, um, say, like granite one <coughs> and granite two. So now we'll go through and we'll actually apply those new materials to uh, objects within the family. So let's just grab some various things here. Let's go up to our element properties here. For material, uh, typically we would uh, select this icon right here and just go ahead and select a material but in this case we actually want to apply this to our parameter that we've created so we're going to select this icon here on the right and let's make this granite one 
so we see that it's then grayed out which means it's going to be automatically controlled from that parameter and let's make this one granite too so again we'll go up here to element properties on the material we're going to select the uh, parameter icon here make this granite too and let's make some of this other stuff the woodwork say for instance maybe these pieces here or something back into our types dialog box and let's actually set those to be here so let's for the woodwork material we're going to say woodwork is the desk woodwork granite 2 is going to be um, let's just say Virginia granite and granite 1 will make this one to be MA granite and we'll notice because of uh, the, the items that we've um, set through parameters that they automatically update through that. So we'd go through and we'd select the different uh, uh, pieces within this family and set those through the parameters just as we have done with the other ones as well. Now let's load this into a project and see how those objects, how those parameters will show up in a project. So let's say load in a project. We'll say overwrite the existing version and its values. Now if we go and select our family here, go up to Element Properties, Edit Type, then we see now that we've got uh, some parameters here that we can control what materials are applied to our wood material or granite 2 and granite 1.